In 2008, Volkswagen was barely holding up. One of Germany's largest automakers, if not the largest one, was head over heels in debt. And as a great recession swept the world, its auto sales crashed to the ground. But then, something unexpected happened. On October 26 of 2008, out of the blue, Volkswagen stock shot up a jaw-dropping 82%, briefly becoming the world's most valuable company. Later, it crashed 95% and never recovered, wiping out most investors in the process. What happened here was a market phenomenon called short squeeze. As I will explain, the same thing, just in bigger proportions, may be happening with Tesla. Let me explain it more clear. Say if you got a $1,500 balance in Robinhood or any other broker, and you want to bet against the stock X, whose price is $1,000. If the stock goes down, you return the share at a lower price and cash in the difference. But if the stock goes up, you have to buy the share and return it to the broker no matter the price. You sell the stock by borrowing a share worth $1,000 from your broker. Now, there are two scenarios. The stock goes up or the stock goes down. In the later scenario, your downside is unlimited and the broker wants to be sure you've got the money to return the share. So, if you have $1,500 in your balance and the price of X hits, say 1500 the broker will ask you to deposit more money or add margin to your account. If you don't have the money, the broker will force you to buy and return the share at 1500 Problems begin when this happens on a bigger scale. You see, when lots of short sellers are forced to exit the trade and buy the stock all at once, the puff up demands pushes the stock price up. The higher stock price wipes out even more short sellers, which in turn drives the stock price even higher. This repeats again and again, sending the stock price to bananas levels. And this vicious cycle is what we call a short squeeze. Tesla is now the most valuable car company in the world. The stock is worth more than triple the combined price of US automakers General Motors and Ford. It's insane given that these two automakers generated 10 times more sales than Tesla last year. No surprise Tesla has lured in a record number of investors who are betting against it making it America's more shorted stock. But what's really surprising here is the scale. The dollar value of all shorted Tesla shares is close to hitting 20 billions. No US stock in history has ever been that shorted. For perspective, Apple, the second most shorted stock in America, has $13 billion worth of its shares shorted. But as you may know, the company is 14 times bigger than Tesla. The sheer magnitude of short sellers put Tesla at risk of being cocked in a short squeeze of historic proportions, and one likely was triggered at the end of last year. On October 23 of 2019, Tesla reported a profitable quarter, blowing away analysts who expected losses. In the next two days, Tesla's stock popped 31%, which likely triggered a chain of short squeezes that exist to this day. Look at the chart and take a careful look because it may be the most important chart about Tesla right now. It shows how the number of shorted Tesla shares fell off the cliff as Tesla stock was roaring higher. While Tesla stock soared 340% in the past year, its short interest fell three times. That means short sellers were forced to buy tens of millions of Tesla shares during the past year. And that surely played a part in Tesla's historic rally. The stock prices come down to supply and demand. If there are more buyers than sellers, the stock price rises, and vice versa. So, let's run the numbers. Short sellers were forced to buy 38 million shares over the past year. That's 20% of all Tesla shares available to the public, which is a lot, but by itself wouldn't move the stock to such highs. You need much bigger demand. Another suspect for bidding up Tesla stock is institutional investors. These are the heavyweights of the market investment banks, pension funds, hedge funds, insurance companies, they manage trillions of dollars and own 80% of the entire stock market. According to Nasdaq data, institutional investors hold 74% of all Tesla shares available to the public. If they make a move, you can be sure the stock price reacts like a water droplet on a hot pan. But the heavyweights haven't been much into Tesla lately. According to Fidelity data, in the fourth quarter of 2019, they bought only 1.8 million Tesla shares net. During that time, short sellers bought nearly 10 million shares, five times more than the market's biggest buyer. In the first quarter of 2020, when Tesla soared 400%, 
institutional investors were offloading Tesla stock in droves. They sold 4.4 million shares. Meanwhile, according to Nasdaq, short sellers bought another 10 million shares. So, if not the short sellers by themselves and the heavyweights that are driving Tesla stock to the moon, who is? Tesla has long had the rep of a cult stock, but a chain of short squeezes could have turned it into an outright mania. Think about it. Tesla comes out with great news. The stock budgets higher than expected, caught in a short squeeze, short sellers buy the stock in bulk, driving it up by double digits. Minds are blown. In other words, a tsunami wave of individual investors pile in, pushing the stock even higher. Short sellers are caught off war again. The chain of short squeezes continues to propel Tesla's price even higher. Once again, Tesla is flashing all over the headlines further fueling the mania. Rinse and repeat. But now that more and more short sellers are getting wiped out, Tesla's short squeeze may be coming to an end. And without its biggest driver, Tesla's stock may soon lose steam. Still, I won't call this the top yet. Momentum is a powerful force that could last longer than sanity can hold. Not to mention that Tesla might soon be added to the S&P 500 yet another catalyst that could drive the stock even higher. So that's it for today, guys. Please don't get me wrong on this. I love Tesla. I think this is a great, great company that have the potential to be easily one of the top five companies of the world. But there are some aspects that we all have to understand before buying or investing in a company like this one. So please hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, share the video, and see you in a couple of days.